Uh, I'm Warren Kinston. Mm. I'm uh, based in London, uh, although I travel a lot uh, these days. But uh, the most of the work that I did was actually done in London, mm -hmm. in England. I was invited by Elliot to uh, uh, join him at the Brunel Institute of Organization and Social Studies in uh, 1978 or 1979. Mm -hmm. At that time I'd finished, uh, I was qualified uh, fully in terms of my uh, um, being a psychiatrist and uh, being a psychoanalyst. And I was, uh, had been involved in the family therapy movement and I was in, interested in work and it was quite clear that my life would have to move into some sort of new path. Um, in fact, I was at that time involved in a very big uh, research project which I had been uh, raised money for and was directing in uh, psychosomatic medicine. When I came to, to BIOS, I came primarily because I'd read General Theory of Bureaucracy and it was a truly impressive book. I believe it is the best book that Eliot wrote. Uh, it was a culmination of everything that had come before and I think it was superior that, to anything that came afterwards. I think it was my admiration for the book, uh, which I openly expressed to Elliot, that, that uh, led him to invite me to, to, to join him and uh, he put me into uh, uh, one of the groups that was working with health services. And uh, shortly after started his departure and uh, as he came back for the last part of his life to, uh, to America and Canada. I learnt about levels of work, uh, specifically uh, besides any reading I did from Rafe Rowbottom. Rafe Rowbottom was very deeply uh, into, uh, had been very deeply involved in, involved in Glacier and, and he had a, a, a very, uh, he'd written books about it, he'd written books about the method and he had a very deep understanding and I was very fortunate, he was happy to work with me on, 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 on various projects. Um, he actually retired around 85, 86 and was happy for me to find the projects and then the two of us would <coughs> work on them and uh, uh, we worked on expanding levels of work uh, to uh, take in more that existed in organizations. But he was really my mentor in regard to really getting to grips with it. Mm -hmm. right, both the way he thought about it and his experience, but also he, he understood Eliot very well and Eliot's, Eliot's thought. Uh, the other person I should mention is Jimmy Algy. Jimmy was very opposed to uh, Eliot's hierarchical approach and his, uh, uh, um, often the way he was opposed to, he wasn't against accountability, but he didn't like the way Eliot talked about it, which was always at the extreme who was accountable, whereas organizations didn't run in that fashion. But he'd done work on decision making and together we uh, worked through the literature and ran seminars and worked with managers to identify seven distinct ways of deciding. And, and here was uh, the paradigm again in a different way. On the one hand, the way of deciding was a mentality. It existed inside an individual's mind. And a person might be described, for example, as a pragmatist or mm -hmm. as an empiricist. Yeah? And at the same time, it existed in the psychosocial realm in the sense of uh, an approach to problems which you could actually, for example, uh, 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 take people through and you can write down on a bit of paper the steps that had to be followed in order to come to a decision. So you had a, an approach that could be taught, for example, hence existing in the psychosocial realm inside a textbook um, and, and it also existed as a mentality.